Hello Stampers! I've got a new card for you today and I'm coming at you with a new Sea Turtle stamp set. This has been a popular stamp set. It's a new one from Stampin' Up! and it is called Sea Turtles and it has all these great pieces in it. Um, all these shadow pieces that you see here are the flip side of the stamp. So um, you have the main image here which is this side and then to get that other part you just flip the stamp over and then you have the solid image. It's just ingenious and so easy to use and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to get going on this card. Um, again I'm using the Sea Turtle stamp set and then for the sentiment we're in this together. I thought that would be cute for this card. Um, I'm bringing in The Greatest Journey. This is also a new stamp set from Stampin' Up! has all these great um, sentiments in it and it also has a coordinating die set which I'm in love with. Um, I didn't use it this time but I'm going to show it to you because I'm going to be using this quite a bit. It has all of these images that are like silhouettes. So um, it's got a person with a lantern, a, a person on a bike, a guy running. It's very nature oriented and um, some of these do cut out the images for the stamp set. But there's a lot of standalone images here which I love that they add those too. So um, keep that in mind. Um, we're just going to use the sentiment out of the Greatest Journey stamp set for this project today. So we're going to start with our main panel as normal. And I have a panel here that's 3 by 4.25 and it's basic white and you can find all the dimensions for this card down below this video. Under the description you'll see show more just click on that and they're all listed there along with all the product links that will take you directly to my online store. So we're going to start with our background for this and I want to put the sand in first. And I'm going to take a post-it note here and this is a 3x5 and I, in the sticky part I'm just going to rip some little um, hills and valleys like. I want them very kind of wavy looking because this will be the edge of our water. Um, like here there's a really sharp peak. I'm going to just knock that down some there. Okay. So I'm going to um, mask where I want our sky and I, I'm going to say it's um, about the top third of the cardstock here. Well, not sky, our water. So I'm going to mask for our water and that's like the top third of our cardstock here. Just a, a little less than half I'm saying, not even a third. So we're going to start with um, crumb cake ink for our sand and a blending brush and I'm going to lightly blend this over this unmasked portion of our cardstock. So there we go. And then I'm going to take some soft sway and I'm going to turn this around this way. And I'm just going to add a little soft sway to the end of my brush. You don't need much. And I'm just going to darken along this post-it note edge here. And that makes it look like the sand is wet um, right there where the water will be coming in. So that was um, soft suede. Okay, so we're going to turn this around and I'm going to take this off. And there we have our two tones. And then I'm going to take another post-it note and I'm going to rip it also. I think I got one too many here. Um, this is the sticky edge and I'm going to rip it to just in little waves. I didn't want to reuse the one that we just did because it has that brown on it and I don't want to carry that brown into my blue of my water. So I'm just going to cover up 
just a little bit of that white above the um, sand area. I'm not sure if you can see through the post-it note, but it's just probably, you know, a little over um, like a half an inch. We're going to say half an inch. We're going to bring in our Brahmi Blue ink first. And this will be a watercolor. And we're going to just fill this area in with this Brahmi Blue. probably be pretty with Tahitian Tide too now that I think about it. That's a really bright blue. That would be more if you're way in the tropics, right? Okay, so there is our Bonnie Blue. And we're going to go a little darker here and we're going to go to Pacific Point. Also using a blending brush and we're going to add some of this here and we're not going to cover all that balmy blue down through there but we want a good amount of this Pacific point on here. You can make it so it's not like um, straight across. By using a circular motion it kind of does that on its own. We're going to go darker yet. We're going to pull in some Knight of Navy. This Knight of Navy is just going to go right on the very top of the sky area. I keep calling it my sky. It's the water area. The top of the water area. So there is our Knight of Navy. Now we have our three tones going on for our water. Alright, we're going to take this off. And there's our water edge and our sand. And um, now I'm going to stamp my turtles. Um, this stamp set has two sizes of turtles. It has a small one and a larger one. And these stamps are much larger than what actually what's shown on the cover here. Um, like the... I'll show you with the large turtle here. If you can see this stamped image, it's a good sized image. It's great. So that's the large one. We're going to be using a small one today. And we're going to start out with the solid side. So it's kind of the back side of the detailed image. And I'm going to stamp this with Old Olive and I'm going to stamp it twice. And I'm going to stamp my um, first one pretty close to um, the edge of the water. And then I'm going to stamp it again. And this time it's a little behind the first one. That first one's pretty fast. He's racing towards that water. Okay, I'm just going to stamp this off and get the ink off the, the stamp here. Then I'm going to flip this over to the detailed side and we're going to over stamp those images using a Knight of Navy and the detailed side of the stamp. I'm just in love with this stamp set. So, we're just going to line this up and give it a stamp and it just makes the perfect little turtle there. So we're going to do that to the other image also. There it is. Okay, so there are our turtles in the scene. So simple. Alright, so I'm going to use this soft suede here. I'm going to go ahead and pull in our sentiment out of the Greatest Journey stamp set and it says we're in this together. And I thought it'd be great to stamp it in soft suede. I'm going to do it right beside the turtle that's in front. There we go. 
Again, that was soft suede. I'm going to pull in a light crumb cake stamp and blend marker. And I want to put some streaks behind um, the little legs of these turtles, just like they would be, um, like they're scooting along the sand and you can see the streaks coming off of them. So I'm just using the brush end and the side of the brush end, I'm just kind of making downward strokes here. You can go right over that sentiment if it's in your way for those. And then along the back legs, I'm going to do some longer ones. And then behind these little legs here of this one, you only have the front ones to do. So there's our little streaks in the sand where they're going by. And then I'm going to take a light soft suede marker and I'm going to do, use the fine point for this marker and I'm going to trace the outside of the legs here. And this cast a shadow like in the sand from their legs and that gives you the feeling they are above the sand they're not like right on the sand there's a bit of room there like they're lifted up just a little as they're making their way to the sea so that's a little shadow there and then I want to take a white Signo gel pen. You can use any white gel pen, but I like the Signo because they're very opaque. And I'm going to just trace the very edge of each of those legs there. Add that white to them. Like you can see a little bit of the white underbelly of these little turtles. That white really brings them to life there. And you're not tracing the shadow. This is actually going on their little legs. Okay, and while we have that white pen out, I'm gonna add some dots, just real quick dots. Kind of all along the edge of that water coming in. This is our little sea foam. You can come out a bit here and there. You just want to do this really fast. You don't want them like all in a row. And that is the edge of your water coming in. Okay, and then I just, I think I just have one more thing I want to do. And I'm going to go back to that dark soft suede marker and I'm going to use the fine point here. And I just want to add a few dots here and there like in the sand, like um, there's some darker pieces of sand here and there. And I'm doing this fast, kind of willy nilly wherever I feel. And that just kind of helps make it look more natural then like this, you wouldn't want your sand just all one color. Okay, so there's the front of our card done. All right, so um, we're gonna start putting this together. Oh, first I think I'm gonna stamp the inside of my card. I have a white panel here. I just wanted to add a little something inside the card. Actually, I really wanted to use the, the stars in the set. So I decided to put them inside the card. And um, so I'm gonna stamp those. And there's a large one and a small one. And I'm going to stamp the back side, which is the solid side. I'm gonna stamp that in our lighter color, which is crumb cake. Now 
I stamped the big one first. And we'll put it right here, kind of in the corner. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp the back side of the small one. I'm going to stamp it twice. And um, we'll just turn them different directions here. Okay, so that was soft suede using the solid part of the stamp, which is the back side of the detailed one. Then we'll flip these back over. I'm just going to clean up my stamp a little bit before I flip them over. And then I'm going to use soft suede for the detailed part that we're going to over stamp these with. They're cute. Cute stars. There we go. And I think I just want some uh, blue, a little bit of blue around them a bit. So I'm going to bring in my balmy blue again. Just going to add a little bit just around these stars. Just like they're on the edge of the water or something. Just a little something for the inside of the card. So there's our stars. That would be cute on the outside of the envelope also, like on the flap. Okay, now I'm going to turn my paper over. My little scrap paper here. Save myself from getting ink where I don't want it. That's all happened to all of us, right? Okay, so I have a crumb cake panel here that's 5.5 by 8.5. And, and then I folded it in half to create my quarter card. And then inside, I'm going to add a um, soft suede panel that's 4 by 5.25. I'm just going to use my multi-purpose glue here, but you use whatever glue you'd like or adhesive. A little love. I'm just going to kind of center this in there inside my card here and then that white panel that we stamped which is this white panel is three and three quarters by five there we go got it inside there then for the outside I'm going to add a white panel that's um, 4 by 5.25. There we go. And then I have a piece of, this is from the Sun Prince Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, it has all these beautiful blue and white designs in it, um, flowers and everything. So I picked this little piece out to go with our little turtles here. I'm just going to put this in the middle, and this piece is two and a half by four. There we go. Then goes on our main piano. This is a simple layout, but it's cute. Our layouts don't have to be difficult, do they? I like to let the um, little scene that we created shine through. So there's our, that. And then I just wanted just something, a little something up here. So I just, uh, go to my um, little strip of paper. I love to do these. And this is one-fourth by two. So it's one-fourth by two. Just a little strip. And I'm 
going to put it up here. It's going to reach the edge of the cardstock here. Now I'm just going to straighten this up. Just a little something up there. I love the way that looks. Anyway, there is our card for today, all finished. I hope you like this project and that you give it a try. It's a lot of fun to make, and those turtles are so sweet. So, thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.